in the Hope Garden, and we are gonna do some scouting. We're gonna be out here looking for some information. We want to have early detection of any pests, pathogens, weeds, or problems in our vegetable garden. This way we can adopt IPM early and have success so we can produce a lot of vegetables that we can donate. Some things to keep in mind before you scout is that you want this to be timely. Once you put those seedlings or plants in the ground, they're open to environmental stress, to bugs and pathogens. So you wanna do this before pests become a problem. Two, you wanna use the tools that you have at hand. Hand lens, your camera, a pocket knife. You can even have some vials or little baggies to take back specimens. You wanna do this different times of the day, maybe early morning or in the evening, when it's cooler and pests come out when we're not looking. You wanna check the plants, the leaves, the top, and especially those undersides of the leaves where pests hide. Check the stem and check the soil around and also the mulch. There could be pests hiding there. You wanna look for live insects, look for damage, look for eggs, pupae, conducive conditions where maybe moisture is accumulating, and look for those natural enemies. That will be an indicator that there are pests nearby for them to eat. And lastly, always, always identify the pest, whether it's a pathogen, an insect, or environmental condition. You can send your picture to Backyard Farmer and we can help you with that. Let's take a look at some examples. So here I've got a squash plant, and what I'm gonna do is scout for squash vine borer and also squash bugs. I'm gonna look near the stem, near the base, for eggs laid by the squash vine borer moth, and I'm also gonna check the leaves and the undersurface for nymphs of squash bugs and also their eggs. They're normally laid in mass, they're reddish color, and usually 20 to 25. You wanna squish those and get rid of those so the nymphs don't emerge. So now we're in the cabbage patch. We are looking for pests that defoliate cabbage. Some of these are gonna be the diamondback moth caterpillar, the cabbage looper, and the imported cabbage worm. You may see some of these white butterflies fluttering around. They are beautiful as butterflies, but as little larvae, they will defoliate cabbage. Another thing to do is check all of the leaves around some of the plants that look like they've been chewed on and pick off those caterpillars and pupae and any eggs that you see and look right at those little heads. There may be cutworms inside. Our last example is here with the cucumber plants. We are scouting for the cucumber beetle. There's the spotted and the striped cucumber beetle. They can cause bacterial wilt of the cucumber plant, so you wanna get those early. So as you can see, the key to prevention is getting out and scouting your garden. Find those pests before they become problems.